Please join me in welcoming to Changing Ann's Bookstore for the first time, Joey Kramer. Wow, look at you all. Who was at the show last night? Yeah. All right. Why do you always come in July? <laughs> God, you know, that's a great question, but like, I, I don't know. Because I'll tell you, it was hot last night. It was hot. And then I woke up today, went to the pool, and I got too much sun, as you can see. But anyway, we're going uh, we're gonna to do a little Q&A here before we sign some books. So, um... All inappropriate questions will be responded to inappropriately. <laughs> and whatever I can answer for you, I will. And whatever I can't, I will tell you, no can do. So uh, it's up to you. The floor is yours. Who has a question? I know no one, right? Yes? The book was very interesting. We were fortunate enough to win it off a radio station. I read the entire thing. Oh, great. Quite enlightening. Uh, just want to know how long you guys have been uh, free of the recreational habits. Um, I've been free of recreational habits for 22 years. Yeah. Thank you. It's difficult was the process? Yeah. Um, it, when, when I first started, uh, you know, and it was suggested to me to write a book, I was, you know, it was because I would be out and about with people telling stories and, and talking about things that happened to me. And the response I got from all my friends was, a lot of my friends was, you know, to go, to go and write a book. And my response was, well, you know, why would I write a book? Who's going to read a book that I write? You know, and I just started writing things down. And I realized that I could do more than just a rock and roll memoir. And, uh, and I, I, I understood that the only way for me to get it across was that I had to be really honest about it. Yeah. And, because I th and that's one of the things that I'm really proud about the book is the fact that it's really, it's an honest read, it's an honest write. And there's nothing in there really that's been embellished upon or, you know, stories told. I changed a couple of names because there was a couple of people I couldn't get in touch with to ask them if I could use their names. But other than that, um, everything is honest and true. And my question, I guess, would be, and sorry if I kind of forgot it if it was in the book, but the relationship with you and Tyler, just to think of a question. So in the beginning, you know, when he was coming up from New York and they were going to jam and become Aerosmith, and they said, well, let this guy Joey play the drums. Was there a period of time that you waited before you like, oh, I don't know if I'm really solid with these guys left when, you know, Tyler was still going to be the drummer. Like, does that, does that make sense? Like, no, or was he it was never going to be the drummer because Stephen and I knew each other in high school. And those guys didn't really know that when I was, when I was working with Tom and Joe in the beginning and we were jamming together, I got to the point with them where I said, well, you know what? I don't think these guys are so good. I don't really think I'm that interested. You know, and, and they, in turn, were waiting on Stephen to come up because he was going to play the drums. But they didn't know that Stephen knew that I played the drums and that we were from the same town in New York, in Yonkers, where we both grew up and went to high school. And when Stephen heard, and he knew of me because we were both like, you know, local big guys, you know. He had a band called the Dantes and I was in a band called the King Bees. And he knew, he knew of my playing. But he was itching to get out front and sing because what he was doing was he was, he was singing lead behind the drums and pl you know, playing the drums at the same time, which is you know, a difficult task. So when, he, when they told him about me, he said, well, that's great. You know, let's, let's leave him playing the drums and I can go out front and sing. And that's pretty much how it happened.